it's remarkable, absolutely remarkable how many times um, the games are being decided against Colorado in the last minutes uh, of matches. Why do you think that is? Are these teams just so well matched? Yeah, um, I would say so. I would say that anytime you have got that much emotion involved in games and, and teams are that level, um, oftentimes it'll come down to something that happens at the end, whether it's fatigue, lack of focus, um, a special play, uh, what have you. Uh, I don't. I think it would be. I would be hard pressed to say that. I mean, I have to look at the goal again um, to, to figure out whether that was really a defensive error they made. I mean, Javier's shot is a special one. Uh, it goes off the post and comes back, and perhaps that our guys are getting to the second ball before theirs are. Um, perhaps. It wasn't our best. Uh, there's no doubt about that, and we've got to continue to to strive for excellence and strive for perfection. Um, I thought in the first half, you know, we were very, very close to, to pulling some stuff off, but always um, one step here or there away from it. Uh, and, you know, I, again, think that we got ourselves stretched out a little bit. Uh, when we had the ball, we've got to keep a more compact shape and we've got to make simpler decisions. Um, I thought we just got a little bit too rushed with things in the first half. Second half was, uh, a little bit better, but still, I, I you know I think we're going to have to be better than that next week for certain. Jason, did the weather conditions play a, have a role in the way the game went? A little bit, a little bit. Um, I, you know, a couple of the plays in the first half, I really felt like Fabian made some fantastic runs, uh, and the, the ideas were were right to try to play him in behind, but there was no stopping the ball uh, tonight. Yeah, I've said a lot of times before that I'm um, really, really pleased when somebody that works so extremely hard is the one that ends up being able to make the difference into the end of the game. And because Fabian for me was could be the man of the match, uh, in my opinion. Uh, he just works so extremely hard to track things down and win second balls off defenders. And um, good, good to see that he got it. Uh, yeah, I mean, I really felt like he, w in particular, was really coming into the match at that moment, and, and was almost on the end of <coughs> on the end of what would have been a, a truly incredible play, because um, he'd gotten in behind his defender and uh, I think was looking to get the shot pulled off, but didn't get it done. And then he goes down in his angle, and it really took him a while um, to get back into things. And that, I think that definitely disrupted our flow a little bit at that p at that point in the match. No, no, I don't think. I think, you know, some of it, um, you know, I, I think that Sabo and Fabi were both just on the razor's edge uh, on a different night. I, again, it's, don't want to comment because I haven't watched it, but on a different night, maybe one or two of those doesn't get called because they're very, very close. Uh, and I would never want to discourage them from, from being that close. I think that's the striker's job. Yeah, it's, uh, I think, really important that we continue our confidence defensively. Um, and, you know, I don't f remember Colorado having something that was really, really dangerous tonight uh, against us. So I think it's a night we have to feel uh, good about what, what, in, what went into things on that side of the ball.